right, here we go. I don't know why I continue to do this uh, for a freaking thumbnail, but yeah, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. Welcome to an all Star Wars toy haul. I hesitated after toy because there's a couple randos in here too. Most of it's toys. Most of it is six inch black series three and three quarter inch vintage collection, three hot toys, but also a couple randos. Freaking video game, Star Wars video game. Everything in this is Star Wars, everything, including a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes. I have been uh, talking about this Star Wars haul for quite some time now, and it's finally here. Freaking finally! I've been waiting to open these damn things up, put them in my shelf. But uh, it is here, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the three and three quarter inch figures, the vintage collection figures. A lot of these are the same exact freaking figure, and you'll see which figure that is in about one second. Bam! I got a Luke. Little Lukey Skywalker right there. I got, guess what? Two more Lukey Skywalkers right there. Bam, bam. Why did I get three freaking Luke Skywalker and Stormtrooper outfits? Why? Why did I do that? I don't know. Maybe so that I could have some freaking troops for my Mandalorian troop transport. Bam. Two of those are Luke Skywalkers. There's only one that's a regular Stormtrooper, uh, but two of those are Lukies, and I'm gonna have three more Lukes there. So my troop transport is gonna be full of troops. No one has to know that they're all Lukies, but uh, there you go. That's why I got three Luke Skywalker Stormtroopers, because honestly, it's the one that's out right now. It's the one that you can get for retail. So I picked it up, picked up three of them. If I find more, I'll probably pick up more. I'm gonna build a little army of uh, Lukey Troopers right there. Little Lukey Troopers. I got these two. I think I got these two on Amazon. Honestly, I forgot. I bought a lot of this stuff a while ago and I forgot where I got them, but uh, very, very freaking happy to get these two. Hopefully they reissue these in the six inch because uh, that six inch vintage collection version of this character is hard as frick to come by. And uh, you know, obviously if you're watching Mandalorian, you know that this character's made an appearance, but bam! Double Tuskins right there. So I got the three and three quarter inch black series when it was still called black series before it went back to vintage collection. Three and three quarter inch Tuskins. Sand people right there. The gaffy sticks, the freaking uh, whatever kind of rifle that is. If you're making a custom uh, Boba, you can use the gaffy freaking rifle right there. But I got double Tuskins right there. It'll probably go on a shelf that uh, I'm dedicating to Mando, which is probably, I don't know, my favorite freaking Star Wars thing ever created since the original trilogy. Uh, I was very freaking excited to find these two today in a Target. I went to a Target today and I found these two. We'll start with this guy right here. That is Rogue One Darth Vader, where he's like ah, lifting people up and ah, throwing people against the wall and freaking slicing dudes in that, that corridor, that scene, that scene was the best freaking badassery of Darth Vader in anything. Uh, Cause he was cool in Empire, he was cool in Return of the Jedi, but that scene at the end of Rogue One, probably my favorite scene in the whole damn movie, where he is just freaking owning dudes. Just freaking force freaking people. I didn't know what to say there, so that's what came out. But uh, here you go. So this has a plastic, going back to the plastic robe right there. Plastic robe. So I'm interested to see how this works out, how this is. I already have a Darth, but my Darth is currently sitting in and piloting his TIE Advanced uh, TIE Fighter. Advanced TIE Fighter, whatever the heck that's called. I'm gonna try not to say frick as much in this video, because some people are like, you say frick too much. 
freaking bet your sweet ass I do, and I'm trying not to say it, so that's why I said heck there. Anyway, guys, here's the uh, the final three and three quarter inch figure in this hall, in this Star Wars hall, this grandiose Star Wars hall, and it's bam right there, Moff Gideon. Yes, Moff Gideon. Look at that, Mandalorian, Moff Gideon. I wish there's a little bit more detail on that dark saber. It looks like a solid black piece of plastic. I don't know. I can't really tell. There might be a white outline there. I can't really tell. But uh, I'm just happy to have Moff Gideon. I'm looking forward to the six inch version. I'm looking forward to the Hot Toys version. I think he's an awesome, awesome villain. Giancarlo Esposito, I have his autograph. I'm, I got his autograph when he was playing Gus from Breaking Bad. He's an awesome actor, just an awesome actor. He's been on Better Call Saul too. He's, he's still on Better Call Saul, but he had kind of double, uh, double dealing, double duty. Mando and Better Call Saul, two shows that we absolutely love. We absolutely love. Those are all the three and three quarter inch figures, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna move on to the six inch figures. There's quite a bit of these. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Bam, I found this one at Grapevine Mills Mall. I think at, uh, not FYE, one of those bookstores. Books a Million or something. Chewbacca, Empire Strikes Back. I love this. This looks great on the card. I almost don't want to take it off card, but I need a Chewy for my Empire shelf. So he's gonna probably come off card. I really do not want to take it off card though. It looks so good on card. So I got Chewy, and then uh, moving on to the Black Series figures. Bam. So here are Endor Han, Endor Leia. There's Han. The face painting, I've uh, determined that the closer you get to the digital face print, the worse it looks. Back far away, like this distance right here, like if you're standing back and looking at your figures on a shelf, looks great. You get up close, you start to see this thing, you're like, what the frick did they do? But again, standing back, looking at them on your shelf, they look fantastic. It's really weird, really weird. So, not so much with Leia, the Leia looks pretty good. My ring light, right there, there's Leia. She looks pretty good. She looks awesome. Good looking Leia kind of scruffy looking nerf herder of uh, Han Solo. Look at how scruffy looking he looks. Looks like he's uh, he's had a couple. He's been throwing them back. Throwing back the whiskey. Some of these I was able to procure from my buddy, Rob Choi, who found these at his Walmart ski. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. He, he was able to find, and I was able to purchase from him, a full set of these Walmart exclusives, so Bam, there is Ahsoka's clone right there. The 332nd Ahsoka's clone trooper looks fantastic. Looks awesome. So I got that one. Got the Mandalorian Super Commando right there. Not really one you can army build because that was a pretty distinctive look for one of the characters with the horns on the helmet. Freaking awesome looking, very awesome looking. But I got that one, and then I got this one right here, Mandalorian Loyalist. This seems to be the one that a lot of people are trying to army build. Mandalorian Loyalist, right there. And then last but not least, one of my favorite characters in Star Wars, especially now, no spoilers, but especially now, really, 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 like I, here's where I was with my love for Ahsoka, and then after watching some Television shows recently, no spoilers. That's through the roof right there. You don't even see my hand. My hand's up here. But I really, really like Ahsoka. But here is how she looked in Clone Wars, six inch Clone Wars. Ahsoka, freaking awesome. Thank you, Rob Choi, for reaching out to me. And my buddy Rob Choi also put this one in the box and I was not expecting this. But this is the Walgreens exclusive blue clone trooper right there. Lieutenant clone trooper. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. There is the Walgreens exclusive. So once again, thank you, Rob Choi. I really, really, really appreciate that. The rest of these I found on random trips to the freaking store, but uh, here is good old Luke, indoor Luke, right there. Gotta do something about that ring light so that when I 
show things up close. It doesn't show all ring light right there, <laughs> but there is Luke, indoor Luke. Freaking awesome. This one right here, one of my favorite uh, characters from the Clone Wars animated series. He is Cad Bane, bounty hunter. Freaking badass right there. Cad Bane, look at him. He looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I did not get the exclusive, so I don't have Toto, the little droid, but really happy to find this one. Two more figures in the six inch haul right here. And here is one of them right here. Bam, another Mandalorian figure. Incinerator Trooper. This is not the last time you will see the Incinerator Trooper in this specific video. Stay tuned and you'll see why I just said that. But this version looks pretty damn cool. Incinerator Trooper. I kind of want to buy the damn helmet. They came out with a helmet, like a full-size replica helmet for the Incinerator Trooper. And I kind of want it. I think it is uh, pretty badass. And I think it would make a uh, pretty cool display piece. And then here's the final figure in the six inch haul. Clone Trooper, regular old Clone Trooper, Attack of the Clones. Whew. There you go, guys. Those are all the uh, three and three quarter inch and six inch Star Wars figures. Let's get on with the hot toys. And if you look behind me, you'll probably see, I don't know, can you see all three of them? I've unboxed all three of these already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you which ones I got and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut ski, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you up close and personal in the old display, show you who I have them displayed with, and then, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. So the first one I actually got in a trade with my man Leon. Me and Leon did a trade, very, very happy with the trade, and uh, I picked this one up right here. Bam, Obi-Wan Kenobi, A New Hope. Freaking awesome. So really, really happy to have this one back in the collection. I had this one a long time ago. I don't remember what I did with it. I don't remember if I sold it. I don't remember if I traded it. I don't remember if I gifted it. I don't remember, but uh, I can remember for at least a couple of years now, I've wanted to get him back in the collection. Leon had one. He was willing to trade it. So I took him up on the offer. Leon, thank you so much, my friend. Mark 44 Prime. I got this one right here as well. I love this movie. A lot of people don't like this movie. I really, really enjoy this movie. This is the Hot Toys Han Solo Mud Trooper when he was on Mimbin. I really love that scene. I love the scene when he was on Mimbin. He was an Imperial Infantry soldier, a Mud Trooper. And uh, I love that scene, very, very cool. So I picked this one up. Also got that one in trade from Leon. So another shout out to Mark 44 Prime. And then this one right here, I don't remember where I got this one. I think I, I might have gotten it from Dallas Vintage Toys, actually, now that I think about it. Incinerator Trooper. So bam, where'd the other one go? Bam, bam. Big guy, little guy. Daddy and kid. There you go. There you go, guys. Those are all the figures. I, again, I'm going to show you the hot toys in the case. Now on to the rando. So I did say that I purchased a video game. I bought a Star Wars video game. This was a Black Friday special. I think I got this for like 20 bucks, 22 bucks. Something very, very inexpensive. I read the reviews. It reviewed very, very well. It reviewed very high. I did see that it was a little difficult and I suck at video games. So hopefully it doesn't annoy the frick out of me, but I got this right here. So this is Star Wars Squadrons. I got it for Xbox One. And this is a all piloting game. You just flying ships. And then the gravy on the turkey or the Cool Whip on the pumpkin pie. A lot of you are gonna be like, what the frick, dude? Seriously? I saw these, I was like, those look amazing. Star Wars, Adidas. I am a man in his mid forties and I am not afraid to admit that I purchased shoes with Yoda on them. <laughs> So these are Adidas NMDs, very, very comfortable shoes. I usually wear Ultra Boosts, but um, I tried out some NMDs. I've heard a lot of people like them, but these are the Yoda NMDs. I saw these, there's also a Darth Vader version, and then there's other Ultra Boost versions, like an X-Wing, I think a Millennium Falcon. But these are very, very cool in my personal opinion. I love the color green. I think that looks awesome. Uh, I've always loved the green lightsaber the most out of all the Jedi lightsabers.
But uh, I saw these. There is Yoda, indeed. On the tongue of the, uh, the shoe there, there's Yoda. And then it says on the back, do or do not, there is no try. I like them. I think they're freaking awesome. Not afraid to show how big of a freaking nerd I am and how much I love Star Wars. Being a nerd's cool now anyway, so there you go, guys. I'm in my mid-40s and I have a pair of shoes with Yoda on them. Hell yes. That's it, guys. So let me go ahead and show you the hot toys in the case and then uh, we'll call it an episode. All right, here we go, guys. So here's how I have these hot toys set up in my display. We're gonna start with the Mud Trooper Han. Obviously, I've got him on a shelf with uh, Han Solo from Solo Movie. This is actually the deluxe version here. Still uh, having trouble getting on that damn fur coat. The little button snaps are really freaking uh, hard to button. I actually like the way this looks with the, uh, the regular jacket on, but here is the Mud Trooper. There we go, there's the focus. There's the focus on the face, on the old face. You can actually put a mask on this to make it a more generic troop builder, but uh, I decided not to because I think that's a pretty good face sculpt right there. Uh, what's his ass? I already forgot his name. What's his name? Hayden? No, that's not him. Alton? Elton? I forgot his freaking name. I apologize. He was a pretty good actor. He did a pretty good job in the role, but I forgot his name because I'm old as frick. But there you go. There's the Mud Trooper Han from Solo. There's the base, the boots, shin guards, pants, jacket, armor. This armor looks a lot like uh, Dengar's actually. Kind of cool there. He's got a little uh, muddy cape. But there you go, Mud Trooper Han. Moving on to Obi-Wan. So here is Obi-Wan, Alec Guinness, Sir Alec Guinness, Ben Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, looking fantastic. Look at that glorious gray beard right there. Saber. I actually just changed uh, the deco on this Luke to the uh, Tatooine kind of farm boy look with the rifle and the poncho and the hat and the goggles. I think they look pretty cool together like that. Before I just had this Luke with his uh, little white outfit on and the lightsaber, but I figured if I'm going to have old Ben Kenobi here with the lightsaber, I didn't want to have them both. So I like the way that looks. I really do. Really do. But there is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. All right, and then we have the incinerator trooper here. He looks a little clean, if you ask me. He should be a little dirtied up. Not this dirtied up. Not as dirtied up as the remnant stormtrooper, but a little bit more, I don't know, battle-worn? He does have the little nicks on his helmet there, but very, very clean, clean white armor there. And maybe it's done specifically like that because these guys don't get brought into the front lines of battle very often. They're more of a specialty, more of a tactical troop, trooper. But uh, there is, now this is gonna be a temporary display because this Remnant Stormtrooper is actually gonna go on this shelf with Mando, which is, I'll tell you right now, it's my favorite hot toy of the year. Favorite hot toy of the year right here. So Remnant's gonna go up here because I actually have the Death Trooper from the Mandalorian on the way. So that will go on this shelf right here with Incinerator. And just for poops and ha-has, here's the little Black Series one that you saw earlier in the video. Just to show you, let me, there we go. Not in the same pose there. I don't have the flame effect. This does come with a flame effect. I don't have it in there right now though, because it's a long flame effect, but the Black Series one fits in there. And there's, there's Daddy Incinerator Trooper and little baby Incinerator Trooper, like father, like son. So cute. So very cute. But there you go, guys. There are the three new hot toys in the display. Once again, favorite hot toy of the year right here. Favorite.
Hot Toy of the Year, Din Jaren. All right, guys, so that was it. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I've been talking about this damn Star Wars haul for, I don't know, a couple months now. So uh, I'm glad that I finally was able to bring it to you. Hopefully you liked seeing what I uh, picked up. I'm sure a lot of this stuff you've already picked up for yourself. You've already seen it for yourself. Let me know what you think of the Adidas NMD Yodas. I got the Yodas. So that's it for now, guys. I would like to let you know that I am working on a pretty awesome, special, upcoming guest on a live stream. But this guest is very, very cool because he is, in fact, a professional wrestler. He's a professional wrestler, and as you all know, I'm a huge, huge fan of professional wrestling. Stay tuned for more details to find out which wrestler I'm talking about, which wrestler could uh, be on a live stream with me. And uh, this wrestler, he's a big collector, he loves Marvel Legends, he loves Hot Toys. As a matter of fact, if I get him on the show, we're going to be talking about Hot Toys. Uh, the entire episode, the entire live stream will be almost exclusively about Hot Toys. So really looking forward to it. Again, stay tuned for more details. But I'm really, really excited for that potential live stream and that potential special guest on my channel. But that's it for now, guys. So adios for now. Please thumbs up the video if you liked it. I appreciate it. And have fun collecting. Uh.